Welcome to Technique Tuesday with the Department of Parks and Recreation, Prince George's County. This is your home each week to stay healthy and to keep your sports skills sharp. Let's live more, play more, indoors. My name is Dwight Freeman, along with James Robinson. Welcome to Technique Tuesday, and we'll be talking to you about the fundamentals of basketball. Welcome. Today we're going to talk about pivoting. And if you watched last week, and if you didn't see, go back and look at Triple Threat, because all of this will be built on top of each other. So after the Triple Threat and you catch the basketball, pivoting, your footwork is crucial. So you don't travel, you're able to make quick moves while you're playing the game. The first pivot we're going to work on is the front pivot. So when you step to the ball and you catch it, you want to turn and pivot on the inside foot. So as James comes in, he catches his inside foot, and he pivots into it. That way he doesn't travel. James steps in and pivot. That is called a front pivot. Now, a reverse pivot is when you step and you swing back. So when James steps into it, he might step and now he'll swing back and the reverse pivot. And sometimes it happens when you catch the ball on your off foot. So if he's coming out from the wing, He's coming from the, the baseline, and he's popping out. As he catches the ball, he'll reverse pivot. Go back down again, James. He'll pop out on the wing, catch the ball, reverse pivot. Back down one more time. This time, James will catch as he pops out and do a front pivot. Catch and swing into his pivot right there. So those are the two basic pivots that you'll use as a front pivot and a reverse pivot. Out of both of those pivots, you can use a jab step to initiate your offensive move, and you'll get your defender off balance. So as James comes out, he'll catch, he'll pivot one way, and then he'll jab at the defender, and when you jab at the defender, what you want the person to do is to react and move back, and you can change direction and then go the opposite way to free yourself up for a shot. Too many times after a player jabs, with this foot, he'll then take off when he want to change direction with this foot, and this is the foot that moves first. That's the travel. So if James comes out, do this way, and then take off with that foot, once this foot takes off the ground and leaves the ground and you're not shooting the ball, you'll be called for a travel. So make sure you're aware that when you pivot, you can't move your pivot foot until you're about to shoot the basketball. The final part of pivoting is in the post. And this is a drop step. This is when you normally have your back to the basket and it's normally for post players. So if he's posted up in there and they throw him the ball, he'll take a drop step, he'll take the baseline foot, drop step, get his man to the basket. On the drop step, depending on where the guy is once James catches it, if he feels me here, he'll pivot, lock me in, where he can score, drop step to the baseline, or if I'm on this side, he can drop step and go toward the middle. He catches it, drop step. Now you're going to drop step to the middle. Defender's on the low side. You want to lock him out with that foot. Drop step and go. One more drop step. Flip the ball to yourself. Drop. Go. The final spot is him catching it on the elbow. James catches the ball on the elbow as a defender. He'll drop step. He'll get me at a disadvantage, free himself up to get to the basket and score. Thank you for joining us for this session of Technique Tuesday. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to tune in again and visit the online resource center at pgparks.com. Your one-stop shop for arts, fun, fitness, and sports at home. Let's live more, play more, indoors.